जय श्री राम जय श्री राम सीता राम जय सीता राम सीता राम जय सीता राम सीता राम जय सीता राम जय बजरंग बली जय हनुमान ओम नमः शिवाय ओम नमः शिवाय ओम नमः शिवाय ओम नमः शिवाय वेलकम बैक टू माय कंप्यूटर लेक्चर सीरीज लर्निंग कंप्यूटर विथ सींग द ब्यूटीफुल नेचुरल साइट्स ऑफ इंडियन विलेज नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर आई वुड लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट द मल्टी प्रोग्रामिंग सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द डिस्कशन विथ द टॉपिक मल्टी प्रोग्रामिंग बोथ मैनुअल लोडिंग एंड बैच प्रोसेसिंग सिस्टम लोड एंड प्रोसेस वन जॉब एट ए टाइम आफ्टर सच ए सिस्टम लोड से जॉब द जॉब रिमेन्स इन मेन मेमरी एंटिल इट्स एक्सक्यूशन इज ऑवर एंड द सिस्टम लोड द नेक्स्ट जॉब ओनली आफ्टर कंप्लीस ऑफ द करेंट जॉब The job that is currently loaded in the system is the sole occupant of the user's area of main memory. Main memory, and has central processing unit of level exclusively for its execution. Operating system resides in a separate part of the main memory. a unit programming system which processes only one job at a time and all system resources are available exclusively for the job until its completion <coughs> a job does not need cpu central processing unit for entire duration of its processing because in addition to computing for which central processing unit is needed needed it often needs to perform input output operation like reading and writing of data waiting for data input from mouse keyboard and printing of results during the course of its processing in fact depending on central processing unit utilization during the course of processing these jobs are of uh, two types the first one is, is central processing unit bound jobs these jobs mostly perform computation computation with little input output operation hence their central processing unit utilization is very high program used for scientific and engineering computations usually fall in this categories of jobs the second point is that input output bound jobs these job mostly perform input output operations with little computation hence their central processing unit utilization is very low program used for commercial data processing applications usually fall in this category of jobs in uni programming system cpu central processing unit is idle whenever the job executing currently performs input output operation central processing unit uh, central processing unit idle time may not be significant for cpu bound jobs but it may be of the order of 80 to 90% for input output bound jobs more of our six input output devices are slower than central processing unit by 20 to 100 times 
सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट आइडल टाइम इज सिग्निफिकेंट इवेन फॉर सीपीयू इवेन फॉर सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट फॉर जॉब्स टू मिनिमाइज द आइडल टाइम ऑफ ए सीपीयू रिसर्चर्स इंट्रोड्यूस द कंसेप्ट ऑफ मल्टी प्रोग्रामिंग विच यूज द आइडिया ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजिंग मल्टीपुल जॉब्स इन ए सिस्टम सो डैट इट्स सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट ऑलवेज हैज ए समथिंग टू एक्सेक्यूट मल्टी प्रोग्रामिंग इज इंटर लिव्ड एक्सेक्यूशन ऑफ टू और मोर डिफरेंट एंड इंडिपेंडेंट प्रोग्राम्स बाई ए कंप्यूटर This concept is carried a step further in multi-programming by enabling two or more user programs to reside simultaneously in in main memory of computer. This concept is carried a step further in multi-programming by enabling two or more user programs to reside simultaneously in main memory and carrying out. They are interleaved execution with multiple user program residing simultaneously in the user program area of main memory. Whenever a user program that was executing goes to perform input-output operations, the operating system allocates central processing unit to another user program in memory. main memory that is ready to use central processing unit instead of allowing central processing unit to remain idle central processing unit switches from one program to another almost instantaneously hence in multi programming several user programs share central processing unit time to keep it busy so i think you are enjoying my lecture series learning computer with seeing the natural and greeny sights of indian villages now note that in multi programming in multi programming system the execution of instruction from several programming program simultaneously rather it means that multiple programs are available to cpu which is stored in the memory and a portion of one executed then a portion of another and so on as a central processing unit can execute only one instruction at a time only one only one the programs residing in memory uses the cpu for executing its instruction at any instant of time simultaneous is execution of more than one program with a single cpu is impossible some multi programming system process only a fixed number of jobs concurrently that is multi programming with fixed task abbreviated as mft cap mft while other can process variable number of jobs concurrently that is multi programming with variable task abbreviated as cap mvt at the time stand soon there are three jobs jobs a b and c residing in main memory out of which job a is performing input output operation writing to disk job b is executing utilizing cpu time and job c is waiting for cpu to become free all jobs residing in main memory are in one of the following three state first running that is it is using central processing unit second blocked it is performing iyo operation and third ready it is waiting for allocation of central processing unit to it
The jobs A, B, C are in block running and ready state respectively. As soon as job B railing pieces CPU, its execution is over or it needs to perform some input output operation. The CPU is given to job C because it is in ready state and it start executing. Meanwhile, if job A complete output operation, it a state converts from blocked to ready. Hence, in multi-programming, central processing unit is never idle as long as there is always some job to execute. Note that although many jobs may be in ready and blocked states, only one job can be running at any instance of time because there is only one central processing unit. The area occupied by each job residing simultaneously in main memory is known as memory partition. Let's see this line again. The area occupied by each job residing simultaneously in main memory is known as memory partition. The actual number of partitions and hence number of jobs which a system can concurrently load in its main memory at any given time depends on its operating system. The operating system maintains a queue of jobs awaiting entry into main memory. The jobs themselves reside on a fast secondary storage device such as magnetic disk. The operating system picks up a job from this queue and load it from secondary storage into memory whenever a memory partition becomes free. The job occupying that partition completes its execution. Multiprogramming systems have better throughput than unprogramming because multiprogramming reduces CPU idle time drastically. However, they are more sophisticated because they require the following additional hardware and software features. First, memory protection. Multiprogramming requires a memory protection mechanism to prevent a job from changing another job's program or data. Operating system use a combination of hardware and software protection mechanism for this. It prevents one job from addressing beyond the limit of its own allocated memory. Second, large memory. Multiprogramming requires large main memory to accommodate a good number of user programs along with operating system. Third, job status preservation. In this, in uh, in the multiprogramming system, when the operating system blocks a running job because the jobs needs to do input output processing, it takes central processing unit away from the job and gives it to another job that is ready for execution. The block job resumes its execution sometimes later. To enable this, the operating system must preserve the job's complete status information when it takes away central processing unit from it and must restore this information back before it gives the central processing unit to the job again. For this operating system maintains a process control block abbreviated as PCB for each processes which is loaded in a memory partition. With this arrangement before taking away central processing unit from a running processes the operating system preserves its status in its process control block PCV. The operating system restores back the status of this process just before it gives back the CPU to it again later to resume its execution. Hence, the process can continue execution without any problem. The next point is proper job mix. A multiprogramming system requires a proper mix of input output bound and central processing bound central processing unit bound job to overlap the operation of central processing unit and input output devices effectively. If all load jobs need input output at the same time, central processing unit will again be idle. Hence jobs resident simultaneously in main memory should contain a good mix of central processing unit bound and input output bound jobs so that at least one job is always ready to utilize central processing unit. Next point is that CPU scheduling that is central processing unit scheduling. 
in multi programming system often there are multiple jobs in a ready state that is waiting for the operating system to allocate central processing unit to it hence when central processing unit becomes free operating system must have a mechanism to decide to which one of these ready jobs it should allocate the central processing unit part of the operating system that takes this decision is called central processing unit scheduler and the algorithm it used for this is called cpu scheduling algorithm now let's talk about the uh, multitasking that is multitasking it is a single user variation of multi programming concept many authors do not distinguish between multi programming and multitasking because both refer to the same concept of systems capability to work con concurrently on more than one task that is job or processes whenever a task needs to perform input output operation the system uses central processing unit for executing some other task that is also residing in the system and is ready to use the central processing unit however some author prefer however some author prefers to use the term multi programming for multi user multi user system multiple users can use such a system simultaneously such as mainframe system or server class system and multitasking for single user system only one user use such a system at a time such a such a personal computer or a netbook computer note that even in a single user system the system often process multiple multiple task at a time while compilation of a program in the progress in background in this manner a user may work concurrently on many tasks in multitasking system the user can partition the computer's display a screen into multiple windows and can view the status of different tasks on different windows so multitasking is a user operation and saves lot of of time when a user has to switch between two or more application while performing a job let us assume that a user is using a word processor to create an annual report and he needs to do some arithmetic calculation for including calculated result in the report without multitasking the user would have to close the annual report file and word processing application open calculator application make necessary calculation write down the result close calculator application reopen word processing application with annual report file and embed calculation result in it with multitasking the user simply opens calculator application while working on annual report file creation makes necessary calculation and switches back to the annual report file to continue working on it hence for those who like to differentiate between multi programming and multi tasking multi programming is interleaved execution of multiple jobs of same or different users in a multi user system while multi tasking is interleaved execution of multiple jobs often referred to as a task of some same user in a single user system now let talk about the multi threading threading threads are a popular way to improve application performance in traditional operating system the basic unit of central processing unit utilization is a process each process has its own program counter its own register state its own stack and its own address space memory area located to it on the other hand in operating system with thread facility the basic unit of central processing unit utilization is a thread in this operating system a process consists of 
and address space and one or more thread of control. Each thread of process has its own program counter, its sound register state and its own stake. However, all the threads of a process share the same address space, hence they also share the same global variables. In addition, all threads of a process also share the same set of operating system resources. Such as open file signals, accounting information etc. Due to sharing of address space, there is no protection between the thread of a process. However, protection between multiple threads of a process is not necessary because a single user always owns a process and hence all its threads. Multiple processes need protection against each other because different processes may belong to different users. Threads share a central processing unit in the same way as processes do. At a particular instance of time, a thread is in running block, ready or terminated state. Due to this similarity, users often view threads as mini processes. In fact, in operating system with threads facility, a process having a single thread corresponding to process of a traditional operating system, we often refer to thread as lightweight processes and traditional processes as heavyweight processes. Now, the main motivation for using a multi-threaded process instead of multiple single-threaded processes for performing some computation activities are like as follows. Due to sharing of address space and other operating system resources among the threads of a process, the overhead involved in central processing unit switching among peer thread is very small as compared to central processing unit switching among processes having their own address spaces. This is the reason why threads are called lightweight process. The overhead involved in creating a new process is concentrated considerably greater than that for creating a new thread within a process. This is because when the operating system creates a new process, it has, a, it has to create its address space from a scratch, although the new process may inherit a part of its address space from its parent process. On the other hand, when the operating system creates a new thread, it need not create an address space for it because the new thread uses the address space of its process. An operating system can share resources more efficiently among multiple threads of a process than among multiple processes because all threads of a process share the same address space. Thus, finally, you will find the thread model more intuitive for application programming because a set of threads using a shared address space is the most natural way to program many applications. In an application which user Producer-consumer model, the producer and consumer processes must share a common buffer. Therefore, programming the application in such a way that the producer and consumer are two threads of the same process make the software design simpler. So, with this, now I like to end this lecture here and जय सीताराम जय बजरंग बली जय हनुमान जी की जय ओम नमः शिवाय 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 जय बजरंग बली जय बजरंग बली जय बजरंग बली जय बजरंग बली जय हनुमान जी जय हनुमान जी जय हनुमान जी जय हनुमान जी जय हनुमान